Sorry, I'm accepting an award from the Red and Addis Pigmentosa Foundation. It's going to kill the rest of my day. So, you had a chance to play golf? Jeff's a premier golfer. What are you, two handicapped? Seven. And he gets out there and he has five strokes on us. He has more concentration than anybody I've ever met. It's spooky how he can concentrate. I'd rather play than talk about it. What did you want to see me about? I don't like being back here. Well, Jeffrey says exactly what's on his mind. Most people consider what they're saying, social skills. Jeffrey just charges right ahead. Now, I know you understood the nature of the confidentiality portion of your severance agreement with Brown and Williamson, Jeff. Chapter and verse. Yeah, I know you do. You know, I came up through sales. One of the reasons I was a great salesman was I never made a promise I couldn't keep. I knew if I ever broke my promise, I'd suffer the consequence. Is that a threat? We worked together for what was it? Three years. Now, the work we did here is confidential, not for public scrutiny, any more than our one's family matters. You're threatening my family now, too? <laughs> now, don't be paranoid, Jeff. About the direction of research here, we may have had our differences of opinion. Research? You declare as a badge of honor you don't even know what makes water boil. Well, that's why we are hired scientists. Okay. I don't believe you can maintain corporate integrity without confidentiality agreements. I was paid well for my work. The health and welfare benefits are good. The severance package is fair. I have no intention of violating my confidentiality agreement and disclosing that which I said I wouldn't. Well, I appreciate all that, Jeff. But upon reflection, we've decided to expand our zone of comfort with you. So we've drafted a supplement to your agreement. It broadly defines and expands in more detail what is confidential. Nobody will be able to say, well, hell's bells, Margaret. I didn't know that was a secret. We're very serious about protecting our interests. We'd like you to sign it. And if I don't? If we arrive at the conclusion that you're acting in bad faith, we would terminate right now payouts under your severance package, you and your family's medical benefits, and initiate litigation against you, Mr. Wigand. Dr. Wigand. Dr. Wigand. After you've examined the document, you'll see it's in your own best interest, and you'll sign it. So what you're saying is it isn't enough that you fired me for no good reason. Now you question my integrity. On top of the humiliation of being fired, you threaten me. You threaten my family. It never crossed my mind not to honor my agreement. I will tell you, Mr. Sandifer, and Brown and Williamson too, fuck me. Well, fuck you. I'm not sure he got the message. Oh, I think he did. 